in this video we're going to focus on creating a line chart and this line chart or more specifically it will be eventually scatter chart has fixed labels here even though if one of the values are completely outside of the value here so there will be a max value that will cut out anything else in here so let's start to explore how to do this in this video we'll focus on one of the viewers question which is how to create a line chart with fixed labels on the x-axis in chart.js. All right, so this question came from one of my other videos about how to set custom string labels on the y-axis in chart.js. And in this uh, video, or basically here below, we got the question from Alexa Eric. And this is what Alexa asked. Hello, I have a problem and I hope you or someone on this channel can help me. So I need to create a chart line type with fixed labels on the x-axis. In other words, let's say just that the x-axis have a fixed value of one till 10. No matter what the data we have, we always, we always just show this label. So if we have this specific value, x 1.5 by y 10, we will be able to see the tick with position between one and two on the x-axis and with value of 10 on the y but the value of 1.5 will not be shown anywhere. Labels on the X will stay the same 1 to one to 10. I hope you understand me and if possible, you can help me. All right, yes, I can. I understand exactly what you're referring to. And I would highly re recommend you not to look into the line chart because what you're really looking at is a scatter chart. So let me show you exactly how we're going to do it, how we're going to convert it into a scatter chart, and of course, how we have the, how we make our scatter chart at, with a line, and after that, have a fixed value. So first of all, go to chartjs3.com, getting started, and in here, I have a video re referring to this specific code here. If you want to understand the JavaScript of here, check that video out. Copy this. I'll paste this in here, and once I paste that, I'm going to move the title in there, and after that, I will save this. There we are. All right, so what I want to do now is I want to convert this into a scatter chart. A scatter chart has a different structure, but that's the structure what you're probably looking for because you have a X and Y value. So this data here is not applicable for what we need. We need to have an X and Y value. So first of all, scatter chart all right and then we're going to convert this into x and y so we're going to make here this and then we put in here curly braces and in here x let's say here one uh, comma y 10. all right so what i'm going to do is I put a comma here i'm going to add seven values in total so we have to paste this six more times so now we have seven items all right so let's make this 2.5 and this will be 7.5 doesn't matter now we have a 3.7 or maybe here 4.5 then we have here 7 then we have here 8.9 then we have here again 1.4 all right and here we have oh sorry we don't make this 1.4 i will make this 100 so i'm going to make this very extreme because we need to have these numbers solid so i'm going to show you later on how we fix these numbers all right so we have this here, I just put in some space just to make it a bit more appropriate. Here we have 10, well let's make this 5, let's make this 3.7, this can be anything you want, 7.7, uh, .7. and this is 4.5. Alright, so if I save this and refresh, we have now a nice scatter chart. You can see here we have the data here, this is far too much, and we have here one extensive one going uh, out proportionally. All right. So that would mean that this line here, or if this would be a line, this should not even be shown here. Basically, halfway through here, it, this would be sp spread over this here. All right, let's do that now. So we have this. I want to make sure that the scales are fixed. We're going to fix this into this. And here I'm going to uh, put a restriction on. Here we just say minimum will be zero. I want to start at zero comma and then we have a maximum in the scale we will be at 10 and we do the exact same for the y value so it will not go out proportion so if i refresh now boom. all right let's see what we have we have something missing comma here save that refresh now now you can see we're missing or 
the the one that is basically missing this one is gone here all right so that's gone and we have all these values you can see here now works nicely final item is creating the line and basically with this the difference between a scatter chart and a line chart is in the options here is let me just double check this exact command so in the options the only command we need to put in here and that's the core difference here is show line we set this on true comma save this refresh oh doesn't work let me make sure that this is capitalized there we are and now we have the line you can see here this line here we eventually connect to the one that is 100 by 100 however that of course is not shown because we restrict that one here and you can see here this is the value let's make this value back to 1.5 and we say this is also 1.5 save there we are so we move this here even that we set up the our starting point is begin at zero so we have this all set up it still forces here this point here and you can see here it is always somewhere between so that's your only item that's most likely you're looking for scatter chart plus having here a minimum and maximum value on the scale and next one i would highly recommend if you're working with a scatter chart this topic might be of extreme interest of you because these are data structures in chart.js and this is built in a similar structure like a scatter chart and it shows you as well how you can use more items in your data structures is extremely powerful and i highly recommend you to look at this specific video the link is popping up as well as you see it here